Hey, everybody out there in cyberspace. This is Teddy Riley giving you Teddy Talks here uh, in my podcast here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, we're going to be talking about networking for freelance journalists and how do I approach editorial offices. Okay, here we go. Uh, freelance journalists sometimes find it hard to approach editorial offices. So the following few steps here will make it easier for you in the future. Number one, find out who needs help. Some editorial offices have had to cut their staff and therefore they appreciate valuable content that you might be offering them. Uh, find out if they need help by sending them an email with an attachment of your article and then follow up with a phone call a few days later. Uh, and try not to be too pushy. Editors hate that. So just, just offer your help. Number two, turn your email into a great story. So the first step in approaching an editorial office is usually writing an email. Editors receive hundreds of these emails every single day. So make your email as unique as possible with a compelling story. Uh, draw attention by including parts of your article, aside from your attachment of the entire article. Uh, you know, maybe include a, a direct quote from it uh, in your first sentence as the lead. Of course, you know, it would be beneficial if your article presented a view on a story from a different angle that hasn't been published yet. Um, this should be clear from the contents of your email already, thus drawing the editor's attention. Very important. Number three, offer them interesting stories uh, you have all the insights about. So a great story is key when approaching an editorial office. Of course, offer the editor all insights on every possible topic you have already researched. Let them know that, that you are actually an expert. Uh, try to email or call them periodically with any new information that you might have acquired. Editors appreciate the assistance in filling their papers, their magazines, or their online publications. Number four, phone calls. Of course, sometimes it makes sense to call first. Um, you could ask for an email address, but also give them a short pitch on your work. If an editorial office is looking for stories, your phone call may be just what they're waiting for. I mean, give them a chance to listen. You might be in the right place at the right time. Number five, know your editor and all of their publications. So the best way to approach an editor is to get to know them first. Try to meet them at a social event or a professional gathering or meeting. Um, if there's a chance, hand them your business card. Also, get to know your editor's publications. You know, what are their main focuses? What, what topic do you see there that, that might be missing? What story might be lacking a follow-up? Uh, if you find an appropriate story, try calling the editor directly. Let them know why readers would be interested in your story. And then sell them your story. Number six, get to know the readers and its advertisers. Show the editor you know the readers and all of the advertising that goes on in their publications. These two groups keep the publication in business. So have an article or idea uh, ready that caters to both of those groups. The publication can sell ads against the story and make money from its advertisers. And then feature your story, it's great. Uh, if you can't reach both groups, focus on either one and present your idea to the editors. Number seven, follow up. After you approach an editor with your article or your idea, send a follow up about a week later if you still haven't received a response from them. Or if the editor has shown interest, you know, see what additional information you can provide in order to catch the editor's full attention. Okay, that'll do for today on networking for freelance journalists. See you next time.